Hello everyone, Kremlin Archer here, and welcome to Kane. Kane is a new um, sort of side story adventure game coming from the Brotherhood, um, which is a company that created a, a game I played about a year ago called Stasis, uh, which is a was a really cool point-click adventure game. Um, this is a side story. It's it's I don't know how long it is. I'm expecting it not to be as long as Stasis was. Comes out tomorrow, January 24th, on Steam. Um, yeah, it's actually going to be free, so just follow the link if you're watching this on the 24th or later, and you should be able to play it for free. I, like I said, I expect it to be kind of short. Um, the the team is also launching a Kickstarter tomorrow, the 24th, for their next game called Beautiful Desolation, which I'll also include a link to the, that game's website. I don't currently have the Kickstarter link because it hasn't gone up yet, um, but you might want to check that out if you think this is cool. I really loved Stasis, um, which is a game I did a play, full playthrough of. Um, I thought the atmosphere was really neat and the art style of the game's cool, so I'm excited to play this this version here, but enough, uh, enough yakking, let's get in here. I don't want a child. I've never wanted one. I, I had a plan, and this wasn't part of it. Relax. I promise this won't hurt a bit. How would he know? <laughs> Thanks. Just a few more items to check off, and we can start. Name and ID? Hadley, 14-0-31-21-09. And the procedure is being paid for by a third party? Yes. They- No explanation needed. No family listed? No family. It's just me. A special order here. Ah, that's for me. Right then. Let's begin. Nurse. Now, count back from ten. <sighs> ten. Nine. You'll be just fine, sweetie. Eight. Seven. That's good bedside manner from the robot. I don't think it's going to be just fine, though. That guy's not creepy at all. Quantum storage device updated. 
Don't actually have control yet. Please, help me! Please let me go! So I don't think I have control. Sorry, checking something here. Just want to make sure I didn't have control there. <laughs> Fetal extraction pre-check. What are you gonna do to me? Surgical scalpel. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, surgical scalpel. I'm about on this thing. No? About this guy. We have who gets closer. Stab, stab. There you go. Stabby, stabby. I'm sorry. Shit. I didn't complete. Subject no longer present. Fetal extraction cancelled. Jesus. Still pregnant. Fetal extraction? This is all because of the baby? Computer terminal. Now let's go check out the dude in the set. I am pregnant. This isn't right. Soul and mottled tissue gapes wetly around the scalpel now stuck in his vertebrae. A pungent green gas escapes from his severed breathing apparatus. Got anything to say about it, lady? No? Dried blood and amniotic fluids stipple the plastic sheets like mold. Gotta do anything? Arm scanner controls. Valid just state targets only. Scan complete. Yeah, it's looking for people. Subject no longer present. Fetal extraction cancelled. Alright, let's look at this. Is there anything in this data record? Oh, these are my data records. Okay. Uh, diagnostics. Software updated. Failure to extract uterus. Recalibration in progress. Successful removal of uterus without endometrium tearing. Successful removal of uterus without endometrium tearing. Software updated. Logs. This is crazy. This is batshit crazy. I am crazy. I like the Happy Mother's Day sticker. It's a nice touch. All right, logs and notices. Dr. Adams, level 9, calibration. Dr. or Joseph Bueno, level 5, error. All right, nothing really in there. Okay. Program. Calibrate servers, load protocols. Routed to terminals. I can't change any of this. Doesn't look like it. Error. No valid target selected. Oh, you know what I think I need to do? I need to somehow get this guy on the table. Or not. Floor. Black metal struts, sprinkler valves installed around the metal support infrastructure. The squalid state of this library just has been used for a long time. Alright, let's take a look around here. We got the bedding, we got the computer terminal, drainage pipe cover. Can't do anything with that. Alright, let's look at this terminal again, I guess. Arm scanner control, valid test state. Alright, yeah. I feel like we gotta get, like, what's... This guy out of here? Put him on the, de on the table. 
but maybe I'm wrong. Target selected. Surgical bed terminal. To get in here. Is this Scan it complete? worked. Uh -huh. Subject in place. Feet is ready for extraction. So what do I do now? Part of the way. I go over here now. Engage. Begin womb extraction process. There we go. Breathe, Hadley. Breathe. Okay. Looks unpleasant. She broke it. Watch out those words there, Hydley. Heck, a little rough. Right, whatever's down there can't be much worse than up here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Ooh, landing on your stomach when you're pregnant. That's probably not so good. I to think a fall could have been a good thing for me a few months ago. Oh, uncalled for, Hadley. Funny. But uncalled for. Is that on a sharp blade? Surgical blade bifurcated blade is attached to left arm. I think that was a, a fall down the stairs to cause an abortion <laughs> joke. <laughs> reach. I need something longer to reach that. Okay. Exposed insulation, dripping condensation, rust. Exposing more, some of the insulation. Okay. Oh, so we're not going this way? Oh, oh that's that. <laughs> Never mind. So she can't reach. Burning structure. Overhang. There we go. Whoa, up we go. Crushed computer terminal, PDA. That looks promising. All right, got some reading Ew, to do. Gross. Hank, March twenty third. Alice is sick. Clumps of her hair were falling out while I brushed it before her bedtime story last night. And this morning, she was listless and pale, leaky. Mother says the food in the facility is bad and. Just to be safe, I started feeding her protein powder in my own stash, but I think it's something with her IV lines. We pump a lot of unregulated experimental chemicals through the hosts, and maybe their blood has become contaminated. I need to find a new source, perhaps a sample from the from the brood. My sister's health trumps getting busted snooping around Kieran's menagerie again, and I need to resupply my blood brood gas canisters anyways. Besides, it's an 
opportunity for scientific research like Dr. Adams would quip. You know what? I'm Sagan. I don't get it, but I laugh anyways. Mother says I need to laugh at jokes or people will think I'm creepy. I decided to make a list of behavioral prompts and appropriate responses because this social stuff can get complicated. Behavioral prompts and appropriate responses. Laugh if somebody makes a joke. Blame Joseph if somebody else complains that body parts are going missing from the bio-waste disposal units. Or blame one of the Kane Texas said. Number three, question mark. All right, we're on April 8th. Lucy's responding to the new treatment. Lucy is Alice. Was Alice. I think the name suits her better since she got a new face last week. She looks more like an Al a Lucy now. We had an intern once named Lucy. She had the same freckles on her nose. That was before, though. The other me, when I was much older. It's confusing. I've asked Dr. Adams about that, and he explained that because of an accident, my memories are not always reliable. So it's possible I dreamed up the part about her subsequent vivisection. But the screams and tears, the way her organs gleamed in the surgical light, seems so real. And more than a bit erotic, I'll admit. One interesting, if somewhat unexpected, consequence of the new blood transfusion source is that Lucy now excretes a mucosal substance not entirely dissimilar in effect from the brood gas. Oral ingestion certainly produces a comparable analgesic response. I've started scraping it off her skin and storing it in my specimen jars because Mother says licking my own sister is improper. Three, don't lick your sister. Whatever, but now I can carry it around with me and use it when the pain get comes too much. So it's also more practical that way. Work has been very busy. Two batches of hosts have had to be terminated ahead of schedule due to the series of malfunctions with Mother's product viability evaluation chip. There's been a lot of engineers and cleaners in and out of the lab, so I've moved Lucy from the storage closet and atmospheric control for now. My reputation around the facility is problematic enough already, and I don't need somebody finding her and making things even worse. Mother says I wouldn't. they wouldn't understand. Also, much more space in the atmospheric control room, so as soon as I've resolved the issues with her left leg, I think I'll teach Lucy how to do the waltz. I've been reading about maggot therapy for treating necrosis, and a sample of Kieran's larva recently turned up in the lab. Time for some more scientific research. The arm chip failure has made Dr. Adams even more anxious than usual, and today I heard him asking Joseph about irregularities in the lab's security access logs. I've seen Joseph lurking around in the lab with a woman late at night sometimes, but he told Dr. Adams he doesn't know anything about it. Dr. Adams believed him because he believes everything Joseph tells him. Or maybe uh, Dr. Adams just doesn't want Joseph to get into trouble for some reason. The way he obviously ignores J Joseph's um, extracurricular activities with the hosts, for example. He's weirdly protective of that man. I had to amputate Lucy's left leg last night. Although the maggot therapy showed some superficial improvement initially, the necrotic progression was apparently already too advanced, and parts of the limbs had started to liquefy. What a mess! We got a new batch of hosts fresh from Kane family planning to prep for second stage product incubation this week, so I should be able to find a suitable replacement donor. The problems with mother have persisted on and off, however, and she says engineers ha want to wipe and reinstall her operating system. I can't allow this. What if Mother doesn't love me anymore? What if she forgets me? Hadley is sick again. Oh, Hadley is Lucy. Used to be Lucy. I've decided to call her Hadley now because I saw the name in the host file. I think it's real pretty. The host, are, the host is really pretty too. So is her left leg. Anyway, I suspect Hadley's new illness is related to the fungus that's contaminated the air vents all over the facility, which means a total facility lockdown of the level. Her mouth and nostrils are clogged with a shiny substance, and a lung biopsy revealed a startling but impressive range of mycotoxin of an unknown taxonomy. Several of her teeth have fallen out, and her mucosal excretions smell like a ammonia. Between this and the recent incidents with Mother, I've been thinking about escape plan. Getting Hadley and Mother to the elevator will be difficult, though, and even if I could, my lack of a PDT won't allow escape. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Crazy person. Got it. Control terminal. Terminal has been locked down to a security event. Okay, so that's... we have to find a code. Okay. I think this is the same thing. I just clicked on it twice by accident there. 
control terminal. Something else here. Oh, shafts of light. Wan light spills through the hazy murk of the upper levels. Did I miss? I didn't miss a like a twisted wreckage. Let's make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. I didn't miss like a code in that PDA somewhere, did I? Fire. Give this a second here. No, okay. I'm gonna look at that PDA one more time, make sure I didn't miss a code somewhere. I've been known to do that on time from time to time. Nothing on the outer edges. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nope. All right, so there's nothing in here that I can see that's a code. Nothing on the screen. All right, let's head back out. Let's go back downstairs and see if there's anything there that I'm missing. Still can't reach this, huh? Nope. Alright, smoldering remains, lacerated floor structure. It's gonna she's gonna climb back up, isn't she? Nope. Okay. Torn up floor panels. Exposed insulation. Head back up. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for here. All right, security code. Where are you? <laughs> PDA. Twisted wreckage. Loosely hanging wires. I can't do anything with that, right? No. Right, let's look at this again. Alright, so it's like a three dot code. Or a four dot code, I should say. Just looking for anything that might help me out here. Ah, there's a glint on the floor. Missed that. What do we have here? Mangled scalpel. All right, can we use the mangled scalpel to reach this thing? It's close. It's a little extra arm reach that we need. No. No, apparently no, we can't. How about exposed insulation? Can we do that? I think not. No, that seemed like a good idea. You scratch it up off the floor. Stupid Hadley. Yeah, it's official. I'm losing my mind. Okay, fine. Not a good move. I thought it was a good move. Alright, well, let's go back upstairs. See what we can see with our um, scalpel here. 
Could be something to do with it. Maybe I can use it on the twisting, twisted wreckage. Apparently not. How about this thing? Nope. Control terminal. Pry it open, maybe. I don't think so. Sickles. Ain't gonna work. Apparently she's trying to avoid swearing for some reason. Maybe because she's gonna be a mama. Some people get weird about that kind of stuff. Fudge sickles. That ain't gonna work. Angled floor panel, that seems like something. No? Ellie, what would your mother say? Why? Somehow I don't think your mother has ever dealt with a situation like this before. <laughs> Loosely hanging wires, that's what I was looking for. Oh, there is an exit over here. I'm trying to figure out why I can't leave this area this direction. And there was an exit and I just wasn't clicking in the right place. Well, that's annoying. That was a lot of wasted time. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Maybe stabbing that oaf wasn't such a bad thing. Suspended human remains. Obscene grotesque of amputated mismatched body parts crudely stitched together like some meat mon marionette. I think we found Lucy. Or Hadley or whoever... Oh, what are we doing? What did we just pick up? Protein powder container. It's so dark. What? Hello? Who's there? It's dark in here. I can't see anything. I, I can't see you. Who are you? Why? Why can't I see? What's happened to my eyes? Where are... God. What is that feeling? My hands. My feet. My fucking skin. I found some spares. What? Nothing. Bad joke. Where am I? Okay, okay. Keep calm. Was I... Was I in an accident? I don't know. I, th I think I can smell blood. Well, uh, I'm Hadley. I, I can't. I can't remember my name. I can't remember. It'll come back to you. I'm sure it'll come back to you. Hello? You there? Um, it's dark, but I can hear muffled noises. I feel my tongue. Speak up, buddy! again. I'm almost alone as I can be with a kiddo inside me. Alright, let's look a little bit closer here. Fluid stained altar. Smells like ammonia. Melted wax, shadows ride and back phantasm. Spinned human remains. Alright, atmosphere control terminal. Let's take a look at this. Active PDT required for terminal. Just looking for anything that might give me a sense of what to do with that other thing. Alright, so let's see. Mangled scalpel. Can I use this anywhere? Like on this guy's connections. Apparently not. Seems like I should be able to cut those cords. Maybe if I rotate it sideways. No. 
Sealed airlock, sealed airlock, sealed airlock. Omni tool toolbox. Access denied. Eroded overhead, leaky moisture, increased ambient humidity in here. Rancid pungence of the thing hanging in the middle of the room is almost tangible. Seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Soy Yum brand is now banned in the Earth colonies, but Kane Corporation managed to acquire most of the remaining product stock before it was incinerated. Alright, sealed protein container. How would that be helpful to me? Crucifix, huh? Figure has been sent to Delacle from Alright. Let's try this specifically on the crucifix. No? Mm. Ha! We opened it. Stream euphoria when ingested. Can I eat it? Yeah, that's not actually what you're supposed to do with it. Can I eat it? No. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not that stupid. Really? Wait, did that work? Aha! Oh, okay, I see. There is Kurt. Celebrate service. In progress. It worked. Well, something worked. <laughs> oh, we still have protein powder too. Can we get that knife now. <laughs> yep. Sharp bladed pincer. <laughs> Sharp edge lancet removes it from the extraction apparatus. Sorry, can I use this now on this? Felt before like I would something should be able to cut insulation out. Yep. Oh, now I can go down there. Alright, looks like I can go down there now. Um, I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll pick it up next time. Thanks so much.